Are you looking to build or buy a new PC for Minecraft, but are really tight on your budget? Well, you clicked on the perfect video. Minecraft is a very basic game if you stick to basic settings, but picking the right components and putting together a balanced, budget-friendly rig can still be a challenge. That's why today, we'll show you how to put together a modern build under $300 and still get more than 300 FPS. For those who prefer the convenience of a pre-built gaming PC, we've also scoured the market to bring you the best and most cost-effective pre-built option. Both the custom build as well as the pre-built PC will be linked for you in the description box below. Let's first start with our recommended part list. This will be perfect for those who really need to stay below $300 and are able to assemble their own PC. Let's start with processor, as it's going to be the most important component of this build. We chose the AMD Ryzen 5 4600G, which is currently available below $100, making it one of the cheapest and cost-effective modern APUs on the market. It's a hexa-core chip with integrated Radeon Vega 7 graphics, which will handle both 1080p and 1440p Minecraft gameplay with ease, putting up 2 to 300 FPS depending on your settings. You'll be able to connect it to basically any 1080p and 1440p 144Hz monitors and enjoy smooth FPS, even without a dedicated graphics card. Next, the motherboard we selected is the ASUS Prime B450M-A2, a micro ATX board that checks all the boxes we're looking for with this build. It's reliable and affordable, and has all the connectivity you'll need. Now, the recommended memory for Minecraft is 4GB, but given today's standards and how cheap DDR4 memory is, getting a quality 8GB module, like the Team Group Elite we picked out, is definitely the best way to go about it. At $2.50 per gigabyte, it's one of the best budget DDR4 RAM kits on the market. For an SSD, we opted for Western Digital's Blue SN550 250GB NVMe drive. It's an older Gen 3 drive, but still ensures fast booting and loading times. It's also one of the best-priced 250GB drives, coming in at $0.14 cents per gigabyte. And finally, the PSU we picked for this build is the Thermaltake Smart 500W unit. It's a time-tested, reliable PSU with 80-plus white rating and a wattage of 500 watts, which will provide more than enough power for all of the components listed here. It's also one of the most popular 500-watt PSUs on the market, and comes with a 5-year warranty for extra peace of mind. And there you have it! Smooth Minecraft gameplay for less than $300. Actually, closer to $250 at the time of recording this video. Be sure to click the first link in the description box below to find out the most up-to-date pricing. Now, for those who aren't comfortable building their own PC, don't worry. We found a great pre-built alternative, the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. Sure, it's not the flashiest or most powerful gaming PC on the market, but it checks all the boxes for anyone looking for an affordable PC to play Minecraft on. It's super cheap, has enough power for Minecraft, and plenty of other games, and it's made by a reputable manufacturer, which can't be said about most pre-built PCs in this price range. In terms of hardware, the desktop features an AMD RX 5500 graphics card, an AMD Ryzen 3 5300G processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and half a terabyte of SSD storage. While it's noticeably more expensive compared to our custom build, thanks to the included dedicated graphics card, you'll be able to use most of the popular shatters to enhance the visual experience. Here's the full list of pros. Powerful, dedicated GPU included. HP PC case included. Free mouse and keyboard. Extra 250 gigs of storage. Windows 11 Home included. And ready to game out of the box. However, there are also a number of reasons not to get this pre-built over our DIY build costs almost twice as much, and weaker processor. Ultimately, the choice is yours. If you're confident in building your own PC from scratch, go with our custom build. It's a modern and super cheap rig anyone can afford. On the other hand, if you're looking for a pre-assembled PC and can spend a bit more, the HP Pavilion is a great alternative. To find out the current pricing of both our recommended part list and the HP pre-built, check the first two links in the description box below. And there you have it. This concludes our video. Again, be sure to check out the description to find the most up-to-date prices of all the PCs mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button as well. Lastly, if you need help with choosing your next PC, drop a comment below, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. See you soon!